Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. COVID-19 case numbers in Western New York are now nearing a five month high. 2.3% of tests that were conducted yesterday came back positive. The average is now 1.9% over the last seven days. That is the highest that number has been since early June. Tonight, Gilat Malama takes a closer look at the rising numbers across New York State. After staying mostly steady for six weeks. It hasn't been a, a great week for Western New York and Erie County. UB infectious disease expert Dr. Thomas Russo says there's been an uptick in COVID-19 cases. Erie County reported more than 100 new cases in three out of the last four days. We haven't had 100 new cases in a single day since way back in May. So this is a, a concerning change in the number of cases we we're having right now and I'm hoping this is not the beginning of an upward trend. He says the region hit a low around mid-August. The current seven-day rolling average of 1.9%, more than double what it was on August 15th. Allegheny County has the highest average daily positivity rate in western New York. Niagara County has the lowest. One could speculate with the cooler weather. We're uh, doing more activities indoor, which increases the risk of getting infected. And to a degree, there's been some COVID fatigue. Russo says wearing masks and social distancing could also make for a milder flu season. If we package those measures together with widespread vaccination, the hope is that we'll have a very quiet, minimal flu season this year. The state just launched a daily flu tracker. It reports five people in Erie County have tested positive for the flu this week. Russo and Governor Cuomo both remind New Yorkers to stay vigilant. The rate of infection is a direct result of your action. We're really right now in the cusp from going one direction and the other. Dr. Russo says the positivity rate in the state is still relatively low, but he is concerned about this weekend and the potential for large indoor gatherings with Halloween and the Bills Patriots game. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.